Welcome to On The Beat. Today I am joined by Dr. Andy Barlow. He is with the Chiropractic Physician Center of Tupelo. And excited to hear that book number three, you have three number one bestsellers. Yes, thank you, Karen. And actually it's three number one bestsellers in four years. So it's been quite a task, but anyway, we have three number one bestsellers. Well, and tell us about the newest one, The Code Breaker. Well, The Code Breaker actually is divided up into seven different codes, much like uh, your cell phone, if you will. And people with suffering from chronic health problems, they have specific codes, if you will, uh, a multivariant uh, type of problem. And just like your, your code, like if you gave me your cell phone and said, hey, unlock my cell phone, I'd have to punch in like six different numbers in a specific sequence to unlock it. And people suffering with complex chronic disorders is similar to, the, uh, similar to that, meaning that they have multivariants and multiple codes that we have to break to actually solve their health problem. And then finding that code, we're going to talk about one of the areas that you focus on in your book, inflammation. Yep, inflammation is one of the major drivers. Uh, there's actually two types. One is acute inflammation, and I play racquetball four days a week. So I hate to even bring this up, but it's like if I you know, twist my ankle, uh, it's going to hurt, it's going to be inflamed, it's going to swell. But believe it or not, when it comes to acute inflammation, that's part of the healing process. So acute inflammation actually helps heal the body. So it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Actually, in my book, I talk about acute inflammation. Think of it like a fireplace at your home. It serves a purpose. Okay. Now, with chronic inflammation, however, it's more like a forest fire and it destroys everything it touches. So uh, once that inflammation, those those little chemical messengers have a special name called cytokines. And uh, okay. that's just the name of it. And uh, <laughs> they don't shoot the messenger here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but inflammatory markers, all right? And so those, that inflammation gets into the blood. And then where does blood go, by the way? Everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere right. in your body. So see, like one of the, this is why it's so hard for physicians sometimes to pinpoint it because once inflammation is in your body, it can go to your brain and it can cause focus, attention, concentration, which are the first signs of dementia and Alzheimer's depression, anxiety, insomnia. Uh, if it's in your joints, you get chronic joint pain, like you might have a, a shoulder pain and a hip pain. And then if it's in your nervous system, then that can cause numbness and tingling in your hands and feet. So those are some of the causes of chronic inflammation. And how would I know if I had chronic And that's a really good question. So one is pain or okay. focus, attention, and concentration. That would be the symptoms. But an objective way of doing it is through blood tests. So one of the things on blood tests, there's multiple different markers. If you know how to read the blood test, that lets us know objectively, you know, uh, that we actually have chronic inflammation. So one of the easiest would uh, a patient can actually grab their blood work, and it's called A1C. And the A1C. I've A1, heard that term before. Yeah. Well, it's it's a big, you know. Yeah. term for blood sugar dysregulation or type 2 diabetic but it also is part of diabetes but it also has to do with chronic inflammation of uh, your uh, uh, a, your c-reactive protein your c-reactive protein shouldn't be above one and then i have people that come in that's five or six so it's five to six times higher than what it should be for inflammation and another one is homocysteine and homocysteine okay. actually looks at your b12 level and when you're not able to break down b12 properly uh, you get homocysteine uh, uh, and that actually can lead to inflammation throughout the body. And if people want to reach you or uh, the, find out more about your book, how would they do yeah, that? The best thing they can do is they can actually go to the number below and that's the easiest way to actually contact me. Well, Dr. Barlow, thank you so much. And we're excited to have the code breaker now with us to tell us a lot about these different markers that you were telling us about now. Thank so you. Thank you so much. And that's on the